Tommy, you are one of the world's leaders in terms of uh, the visions for mobile. You saw here in Abu Dhabi the winners of the World Summit Award. Give us a general impression which you have of the winning products. Um, I, I've been watching the mobile industry evolve a lot for the last 15 years and early on there was a very big difference where we would see really advanced stuff coming from Finland or coming from Japan, coming from a couple of kind of obvious places of, of leadership. Now I'm really amazed at the, how broad the innovation is, how really high quality candidates were the finalists in each one of these categories. That, that I, I, I'm really, really pleased to see that, that this is now a global industry and the innovation can come from anywhere. When you look at content uh, and mobile content, what is it actually, what stands out for you in terms of the value for the user? Um, I, I think that there are several, several places where mobile can help which were not possible before. So if we're, if we're looking at mobile healthcare, that, that really helping people that, that their lives are at stake. Uh, we're looking at I inclusion and, and empowerment, uh, the wonderful, the winner for example from Brazil, helping people with disabilities who really did not have, have a chance to participate in the digital revolution, now they can. So these are the kind of things that really, really help, help you know, warm my heart. It's a wonderful uh, solution, for example, to, to provide addresses for countries where there are no street addresses. The streets don't have names, the buildings don't have a number. Can you imagine if there's an ambulance and you have to get the ambulance to quickly help you know, your mother who's had a, a heart attack, and if there is no address? And, and much of Africa is like that, parts of Middle East is like that, parts of Latin America are like that. And, and we have now a, a mobile solution that prov provides perfect address for everyone, for free. That everyone, that if you want to, you know, what is my home address, easy, simple, even in places where there are no addresses. So these kind of things, mobile can really be magical and make a truly big difference in the lives of people. You're traveling the world, you're speaking at many conferences. What is different about WSA, Global Congress, in comparison to other conferences where you speak? Um, I, I, the, the thing that I'm most delighted about is how much this is not a Western-centric uh, speakership or Western-centric uh, participation. Most of the places where I go, even if it's an event in, in, in Brazil or if it's an event in, in South Africa or Nigeria or Indonesia, half the speakers are from Europe and America. And, and so, so uh, it's wonderful that we Americans, Europeans participate in this, but I would love to see more of what are the local people doing. And, and, have, and that is where this event has a really broad spectrum of competence from all around the world participating and, and helping us understand. It's a very, very different world if, if we're looking at, at what are the needs of people in, in Egypt or, or in, in Chile or, or in, in uh, Ghana. You're writing always books. What is your next book and what does the book do in terms of uh, adding to the global conversation on mobile? I don't think that much. <laughs> this is the, the saddest book I, I have had to write and that's why I'm having a hard time finishing it. The book is about how Nokia uh, lost its handset business. So how Nokia died, or Nokia, the company did not die, but its handset business was sold to Microsoft. So this is a sad story of, of what went wrong in those four years where, where Nokia stumbled. Uh, so, so this is just, uh, I, I think that it is a record we have to create for the industry to learn from those mistakes and, and hopefully not make those mistakes again. And personally, of course, I'm, I'm from Finland and, and I'm an ex-Nokia employee, so I'm very confident that Nokia, the company, will come back stronger as ever. And of course, they have a very good, uh, robust networking business already that they do today. But after that, I would like to write a book about augmented reality and see where do we go next with the eighth mass media after mobile. Thank you very much, Tommy Ahonen. Thank you.